In this week's video, we're going to be removing the windscreen from my R32 to make room for the new one that's going to go in. Now the only reason we're removing this windscreen is because it's cracked, as you can clearly see right there. And because it's cracked, it won't pass retro inspection. The only reason I'm actually taking it off early uh, is because I want to inspect around the sill and make sure there's no rust there either. Because the last thing I want is for the person to come out to change the windscreen and then have to basically pause, send them away in the middle to have to fix rust. That would be a massive pain in the butt. So instead, what I'm going to do is remove the windscreen myself and inspect it for rust before he comes out. You might have noticed I'm carrying around a spark plug. Couldn't give up the opportunity to throw uh, um, uh, a used spark plug at my car. So that's what we're going to do to try and remove it, or at least to start removing it. It's got to come out and I reckon this will be the funnest way to do it. So I'll try a little bit first. I, I don't know how this is going to go. I feel like um, I need more than what I've got. <laughs> that was so fucking anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, that, that cracked it, but it didn't do fuck all. <laughs> fucking nothing. Look at this. It's not working. I think it needs more mass behind it. I think I'm done here. All right, I've smashed up a lot more of the same spark plug and I'm gonna try and just throw the whole lot at it to see if it'll actually work. Uh, Cause if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Or I do actually, it'll, it'll just be a hammer. Fuck me, it just goes everywhere and does jack shit. It doesn't seem like any of those strategies are gonna work. And after carefully reconsidering and looking up a few uh, options, I've decided smashing it's probably not the best way forward. So instead, I'm gonna spend the next two, three hours trying to get it out with this shitty tool and we'll see how we go. Well, that absolutely sucked us, but uh, it's done now, so we can jump to cleaning up the windscreen sill. Now, she's a bit crusty, um, just about as crusty as I thought she was going to be, maybe a little bit worse in some spots, but as a whole, honestly, well, there are no holes, so I'm happy with it. Just got to sand it all back, scuff it all back, and then I'll put some paint down there so that it's not rust uh, or bare steel. And then when old mate comes to put in the new windscreen, it'll be an easy job for him and then it should be done. Alrighty, that is going to be as good as I can get it with a wire wheel, which is pretty damn clean. Nice and clean. Pretty much like that the whole way around. She's good for it. And the next thing I've got to do is chuck this stuff on there. This is like a rust preventative, rust remover like crap. Put this on, leave it for like 24 hours with some shrink wrap over it and she'll be right to paint after some clean and some prep. But yeah, chuck this on there. Now I've just got to play the waiting game, come back out tomorrow after work, clean it all back, and uh, should be good for some paint. Okay, nice. I'll see you tomorrow. Pretty happy with that. No more rust. 
just a bunch of pitted metal. I have uh, said it before and I will say it again, I hate painting. The uh, final layer I decided to use for the sill is like a, like a, I don't know what you call it. A stone chip protection layer. Just needed to cover it up so it didn't look like primer. Unfortunately what's happened is I've put down the first two layers uh, of primer, uh, both etch primer and then primer primer. Uh, three light coats of each, went on beautifully, no problems. Cleaned in between, all good. Uh, got to this layer, put on three layers, 20 minutes gap in between, just like it suggested in the uh, instructions. Um, it even says in there, like, specifically formulated to protect sills, side skirts underneath, blah, blah, blah. So you're like, crap, like, this area here where you're not going to see it, but it's, you know, might get stone chips and that sort of shit. For the underside of the sill, I thought it would be perfect because it's going to have a little bit of texture to it. It might be better for the glue to stick to, that sort of thing. It's dog shit. It's actually just dog shit. Let me show you. Lovely. Now I get to spend the next day cleaning this all back, prepping it and painting it a second time. It's great. It's exactly what I wanted to do with my weekend. Redo the work I did through the week. <sighs> oh well, I'll have it fixed before next weekend and the windscreen will be in on Tuesday. So the next time you see me, this will be fixed and the windscreen will be in there. You might even have some pods and side skirts here by then.